In this short video, I'll be introducing you to the electromagnetic spectrum. Here is the electromagnetic spectrum that you should be uh, at least familiar with from GCSE. You can see we start over on the right hand side here with the lower energy, lower frequency, longer wavelength regions of the electromagnetic spectrum with radio waves, which covers this whole region here. Then we have microwaves, infrared. This small section in the middle here is the visible light that we can see. It's been blown up down here for us. Then we have the ultraviolet, X-ray and gamma ray section. It's very important that you learn the approximate wavelengths of each of these sections. An important thing to remember is that these boundaries are rather arbitrary and actually there is some overlap. For example, gamma rays can cover this whole region here up to around about 10 to the minus 10 meters, while X-rays can stretch all the way up to around about 10 to the minus 13 meters. This is because the principal difference between X-rays and gamma rays isn't necessarily their wavelength, it's, it is how they're formed. X-rays are produced by accelerating electrons, gamma rays are produced through uh, nuclear decay. An X-ray and a gamma ray with a wavelength here of 10 to the minus 12 meters is physically identical. Some features of electromagnetic waves that differentiate them from other types of waves. Firstly, they can all travel in a vacuum. Secondly, they all travel at the same speed, and in a vacuum that would be the speed of light, 300 million meters per second. And that they are made up of oscillating electric and magnetic fields. That can be seen here in this diagram here, where you see an electric field oscillating in one plane, and a magnetic field oscillating in another plane at 90 degrees. That's what an electromagnetic wave looks like. Let's finish with this specimen question, which happens to be from the OCR Physics A specification. So figure 4.1 here shows the electromagnetic spectrum. A, X-rays, UV, visible light, B, microwaves, radio waves. So we need to complete this table here. So section A here, the highest energy section of the electromagnetic spectrum, which would be uh, gamma rays. We use the symbol for gamma there. And B is infrared. And then the approximate wavelength of a gamma ray, anywhere between about 10 to the minus 10 and 10 to the minus 16, so let's say 10 to the minus 13 meters. And for infrared radiation, anywhere between about 10 to the minus 3 and around about 7 times 10 to the minus 7, so let's say 10 to the minus 5 meters for infrared. And the state here, two features common to all types of radiation in the electromagnetic spectrum. Well, they travel at the same speed. in a vacuum is C, 3 times 10 to the minus 8 meters per second, and they can all travel in a vacuum, which makes them different from other types of waves.